Merci beaucoup. Thank you. Mark Baum on the tenor saxophone, ladies and gentlemen. All right, Mark. Yeah. Woo! Quick public service announcement. I'm your saxophone player and chef for the evening. Uh, we have provided kosher red beans and rice for everybody. We got some bodine bread with uh, some beautiful butter, and I see somebody brought in some guacamole and chips. Uh, not only is admission free here, uh, but we offer food too. So if you haven't had some and you're hungry, grab it. We, I, I, we're getting down to, I think I only have enough to feed about 100 more people. So uh, you might want to get it now. Back, back to you, John. Thank you, Mark. Thank you. And uh, those of you who don't know, me and Mark, we go back a long, long way, man. You know. How, how long? Yeah, uh, to 1958 in kindergarten at Oxford uh, Elementary. And, and David on drums, I haven't seen him for 40 years, you know. And we have a lot of mutual friends and we used to hang out like... Uh, I didn't really, I didn't really go to Berkeley High, I sort of did, you know, but they sent me to a very special part of Berkeley High. Do you, do you know, do you know about uh, McKinley? Yeah, we used to call that the Big Mac, you know. Yeah, that was a very exclusive uh, clientele there. <laughs> yeah, we had a lot of fun over there on Dwight Way, you know. But, you know, it's great to be back here in the East Bay. Sure. I've been around the block a few times, you know, uh, last month I was in Germany. And, and you know that that trip I was telling you about was my first trip to to Europe. I never realized that I'd actually end up living in Europe, and I ended, I ended up moving over there in '91. And I lived in in Germany for five years, and I lived in Paris for a year. And uh, yeah, but there's nothing like El Cerrito, man. And you know, downtown El Cerrito. We're in downtown El Cerrito, and there's natural food here. And, the air is good, the people are nice, you know, and uh, this is uh, my hometown. It's really great to be back here. Hey, bro, there was a club in Germany that the Beatles played at. Did yeah, you? I played there. Actually, it's a funny that you ask, on, on the Reeperbahn, you know. You know, there's a part of, uh, of uh, Hamburg, it's called the Reeperbahn, and the uh, Grosser Freiheit, and this is where it's, uh, we say, Fear and Zwanzig Stunde, non-stop, you know, there's uh, action there, 24 hours, it never really closes down. And I played in the very same club where they started out called the Indra. And there's a video of us playing there. And I got to know some of the people who worked with the Beatles at the Star Club. They, they used to call it the Star Club, you know. But one of my first gigs there was in a place that was called the Kaiser Keller, but it had formerly been the Top Ten Club. And that's uh, one of those clubs that the Beatles started out at. Only by the time we got there, it was run by the... Uh, Irish Mafia. <laughs> Thank you. David Moose on the drums, everybody. Yeah, man. They don't call him Moose for nothing because he never heard this music before, man. He's doing a hell of a job, man. Very nice, David. Thanks a lot. And everybody on the saxophone my old friend he's not only a saxophone this guy plays everything he does arranging he's a wonderful cook so uh, finish up his beautiful cooking this is mark bomb everybody if you don't know mark he's here he is yeah man we go way back we want to thank you for supporting down home music and and coming out today and uh, uh they uh, gave me a really special privilege to play on friday because the traditional day that they do live music here is on saturday so we uh, broke the rules here a little bit, you know. But you know, it's hard to get the cats on Saturday. Saturday is tough, you know. So, but Friday, you know, Friday the eagle flies, you know. And actually Friday is the night that uh, my cable TV show is on in New York. And you can watch it on the internet too, you know. We're on late night in uh, New York. I've been off for 34 years, everybody. Oh, wow. Yeah, I'm, I started on MCTV, cable TV. Manhattan Cable TV, right before the Robin Bird Show. Those of you who uh, are New Yorkers that might know who Robin was. And I was the lead in to the Robin Bird Show at 1.30 in the morning, and I'm still on at the same time, 34 <laughs> years later. And in those days, cable TV, it didn't even have numbers, it was just letters, you know? And it, you dial up like channel C. We used to say channel C and D are free and J you pay, you know. And I was on all three, you know. So uh, we're still on there. This is the theme song 
from my cable TV show, the John Hammond Show. It's called Late Rent. I told you how I got that name. It's a true story. Unfortunately, my landlord, Mr. Lebarski, is no longer with us, but uh, I always think about him whenever I play Late Rent. And thanks, everybody. If you like this music, you can get it right here at Down Home Music. Or if it's not in stock, they'll order it for you from our distributors, the wonderful people at City Hall Records in San Rafael. Yeah, they're the best, man. Robin Cohn and Peter Alvin from Big Brother and the Holden Company, they're keeping, keeping that wonderful uh, record institution going. And uh, thanks a lot, everybody, to John McCord. Give it up to John. 10 years we've been talking about this. Thanks, John. Very best, man. Thanks a lot. And uh, if Chris is upstairs, thank you, Chris. Chris <laughs> San Antonio. Oh, he's in San Antonio. Okay. All right. That's good. Yeah, he's got a lot of deep connections in San Antonio. I know. You know. All right. And, you know, I heard that they're that they're going to play his movie again. I enjoyed it down here at the at the Cerritos. Yeah, we were there for the opening, and and there was a parade down San Pablo and everything. So celebrate uh, the great legacy of Chris Jackowitz and our Hooli Records and Down Home Music right here downtown. El Cerrito, yay! yay. Yeah, all right. We're gonna take you home with this thing, and it's called Late Rent, and uh, the shop will stay open till seven o'clock, and uh, we promise to clear out by then, so we're gonna, we're gonna wrap you up with this tune, and uh, finish up the food, everybody, and we're gonna hang out with you guys while we're packing everything down. I'm always paranoid I'm gonna leave something behind, you know? You know, so uh, sometimes I do, you know, I always say, if I left anything, hold it for me for the next time, you know? But uh, we're gonna try to leave the place in the same shape we found it, because this place is a national treasure. This is called Late Run, everybody. Thank you very much.
Thank you, thank you, thank you, everybody. I have to go see the sound man there, you know. Once again, thank you, everybody. Down home music. Thank you, so thank you, John. John. All right. Upcoming shows. There's upcoming shows for John Italia. All right. Well, the next uh, one will be uh, May 28th. Well, we might have something before that, but you never know. But the uh, <laughs> next scheduled one is May 28th, and it will be um, two. Uh, a guitarist who recorded on Tacoma, sort of affiliated with John Fahey, wow. and that is Max Oaks and Harry Tausig. Nice. And that'll be at 2 o'clock, this is a Sunday, May 28th, and then at 3.30 also on May 28th, we'll have Matt Callahan, who uh, wrote, just wrote a book on the Summer of Love, but he's a, grew up in San Francisco, but he's living in Switzerland now. Wow. And uh, he did a, 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 a tribute to uh, John Connolly, the Irish uh, freedom fighter, uh, nice. uh, for his centennial last year and did a, did a wonderful job. And so he's uh, play some music and read from his book. And, and okay. so that's, that'll be good that'll fun. Be great, great. Again, that's on May 28th. All right. Thanks a lot, John. Okay. All right. Thank you, everybody. Thank you. All right. We'll see you around.